Our first guest on the show today is a five-time Juno Award winner, three-time Grammy nominee, a recipient of the Order of Canada, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal, and the Premier's Award for Excellence. Who is the shining star? I'm speaking of internationally acclaimed saxophonist, flautist, pianist, and composer Jane Bunnett. She is known for her creative integrity, her improvisational daring, and courageous artistry and she's here to talk about her newest album playing with fire jane welcome to the show how are you good thanks don it's great to be on your show thank you um so your exploration of afro-cuban music has been groundbreaking uh you've had many connections and ties to musicians and to the country what drew you to afro-cuban music when i was playing classical piano i always kind of gravitated towards um, the music that sort of had that Latin tinge in it. So if it was Debussy or Ravel or, oh, who was some of the other, uh, Hinastera, some of the actual Latin American composers, Villa Lobos, I always just loved, you know, the rhythmic thing that was, in, in you know, injected into some of the, the, those compositions. So there was a sort of a seed, you know, that was planted there early. My first trip, to Cuba was in 1982. Right in the airport when we got off the plane, there was a trio plane. And then we got, went to the baggage claim and there was another group plane over there when we went through the immigration line. Then we got on a bus and went an hour and a half to the tourist compound um, and got off the bus and there was a comparsa. So there was like a, like a tent. Yeah, like it wasn't a big comparsa, but it was big enough. It was like 10 musicians drumming and dancing and a cornettachina and I was like I'm just getting off the bus and I was like oh my god now we're in Africa like this is this is now this is really getting crazy and uh so that was like the fourth group I heard and then unpacking my bags in the room I heard this incredible you know these montunos and mambos coming from outside and so I left the hotel room and walked up the hill and here were a like 18 guys, like all dressed in white, standing at the top of the hill at, a, at an outdoor bar playing. It was like, you know, three trumpets and two saxophones and two trombones. It was like unbelievable. And they were playing these mambos and the, I'd never heard like a cowbell, like, you know, just rocking it. And it was just unbelievable. Um, so I ran back and got Larry and I said, you know, that's not a sound. That's not, that's not, tape music there's actually 18 guys up there playing come on so we ran up there with our horns and um sat in the front row and i always laugh about this because there was more more people on the bandstand than there was in the whole hotel so we had our horns beside us and tr trumpet player who ended up being a longtime friend who unfortunately passed away a few years ago paisan millet he um he saw us with the cases and sort of like winked at us and was like come on up and so, of course, being gamers, we ran up there with our naivety and jumped in and, and started playing on, you know, these these Montunos. And um, those just these for listeners, just these, you know, these repeated maybe two two chord vamps. And um, it was just so great and it was so exciting and so powerful. And I think that's when it just it, that just, you know, hit both of us. I mean, you have created an amazing legacy so much good music um your album playing with fire is debuted on our top 30 chart a few weeks ago and i would love for you that's to exciting i can't believe that i'm really I'm, I'm thrilled about that people are loving your 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 album there i never had that i don't think i've ever had that happen really well no i don't think so i think this is a first yeah, that's incredible that's well well deserved mm -hmm. um can you pick a tune off the album and tell our listeners a little bit about it Maybe Human Race. Um, yeah, Human Race, that was written, well, as a lot of the music was written during COVID. So we were planning to do our fourth recording. We were also planning to go out on tour. So I guess this is the end of March, April. I'm just trying to remember exactly when COVID, COVID hit. But Larry and I went up to my grandfather's log cabin and we sort of hunkered down there for, for really back and forth from Toronto to the log cabin for about two and a half years um with everything you know sort of having come to a standstill for our for our, what was supposed to be a year and a half of touring um 
you know, with the girls sometimes going back home, but still it was all these dates, just like, boom, nothing is happening now. And um, so I was spending a lot of time in nature and um, there's on our property, there's a an anthill that's been there since be- my, my grandfather bought the property in 1919. So that anthill was there in 1919 and it was, it, my grandfather thought it was close to 100 years old then. So I don't know how old this anthill is. But um, during the, the nice weather, which is <laughs> pretty short, but anyway, during like, the, you know, spring, summer, mostly summer, um, I would go down and sit on a log by this anthill and just watch the ants. And um, this melody, this, first the bass line came up in my head. Um and uh, I would just watch these ants, and it was so fascinating watching them because um, there's just thousands and thousands of them running around, and they're they're carrying you know other dead ants or they're carrying you know some little other bug or they're just carrying you know they're all making they're all they're all just going about their business, but they're not hitting each other. You know, it was quite it's quite fascinating to just like stare at that and. I that's how I came up with the title because I was just res, I was responding to to being in nature but also every time I came back to the city I was sort of being bombarded because I'm right super downtown um with sort of what was going on around me in city life which was which was hard you know it was just this this clash of just of of things and and sort of a hardness in people that that came about because people were just so messed up so that's how I came up with the title and the lyrics the lyrics come about are just about you know having a conscience about about things because you know COVID was a, a time for reflection and and thinking on a on a deeper level you know what's what does this all mean and where where are we going? You know, all the questions that existential questions that one asks themselves. From the album Playing With Fire, Jane Bunnett and Makeke, this is Human Race. <laughs> 